Well, joining us, you can see in the studio now, Clifford Singer, creator of MyDavidCameron.com, the site that's home to many of the spoofs, and Harry Cole, who blogs at ToryBear.com. Well, evening to both of you. Let's just have a quick look at the, uh, some of these new posters first while we've got you here. We'll put them up on the screen there so that people can see them. And Harry, while we're looking at those, um, it's a bit of a change from the big airbrush shot of David Cameron. Is he not attractive anymore to the uh, oh, first-time voters? Of course he's attractive. David's a very attractive man. Um, but, so why uh, have they gone for this, then? <laughs> well, it's, it's a new tactic. I mean, the whole election can't be dominated by the leader. The Conservative Party isn't just about David Cameron. It's about a whole broad movement. And it's showing people that there are Labour voters out there who haven't traditionally voted Conservative and are now attracted to the Conservative Party and, and want to come join. And this uh, this post campaign, I think, is great. The videos that accompany it are, are, are brilliant. It's, you know, people are going to see it and they think you know I, I can I can see what they see where they're coming from I believe some of the same things they believe and I you know may have distrusted the Tories in the past but you know now things have changed if we uh, if Tim our director can run those shots again you'll see there is one slight difference as well mm. um, that the posters have got something that the other poster with David Cameron didn't have on it's actually got the Conservatives logo on it which did, it, did the other one not have that no I didn't realize it just that. had a big airbrush shot of David Cameron well, everyone knows who David Cameron is, I think. I think everyone. they do now. <laughs> I think they definitely do now. Uh, and Clifford, one man who yeah. knows, uh, Clifford, <laughs> Clifford, your site, mydavidcameron.com, you put a lot of those spoofs on. These, uh, these new posters have already been spoofed already. Let's have a look at some of these and see what you think. Uh, it says, I've never studied economics before, but Dave said I need to sort out the economy. <laughs> I've never voted Tory before because I'm seven and I like the Power Rangers. <laughs> And there's another one. When the Tories get in, I think we should eat the little one first. Uh, Clifford, are those uh, your, your creations or uh, are they just uh, sprung up organically? The top one about George Osborne economics is my creation. The others have been just been sent in. They were sent in within minutes of the Conservative Party poster appearing. Why are they so easy to spoof then? <laughs> well, it's, it's been interesting because obviously we, we, we launched the website off the back of the first campaign where it was a big image of, of David Cameron looking extremely airbrushed and for us it seemed like the perfect metaphor for Conservative Party policies. From there they then went for a negative campaign and they brought out the Tombstone advert which again um, had a lot of potential for mockery within We've it. We've got the NHS one actually, mm -hmm. we, can, we can show up, we'll get I it on the screen while, while we're talking. I'll have a go at a negative campaign <laughs> given, uh, <laughs> given where you you're coming from. I mean, <laughs> were you doing this Clifford though for, for political reasons are you spoofing this or are you doing it because it's just a bit of fun? Um, it's a mixture of both. I mean I, I'm, I'm on the left politically although I'm not a member of, of any political party um, and I was interested in, in a way of in a sense doing a, a, a political website that, that reached beyond the normal politicos. Political websites often just talk to uh, sort of reach out to other politicos, they talk to each other and, and it's interesting to, to take our communications a bit further. Humour though was an essential element. Without, without the humour it wouldn't have worked and, and we're happy for people to visit it and I, just enjoy the joke too. I agree, I mean I think they, they are very funny, I've, I, <laughs> I've laughed at a, at a lot of them but um, to, to say that it's branching out, to, uh, branching out of you know, the normal kind of people, the people that are actually going to take time out of their day to spend an hour or two on, on Photoshop mocking one of these things up um, aren't, you know, uh, your, your average voter. It's not, it's not people on Twitter who are passing these around, they're all, they've already decided who they're going to vote for. Most of them, you know, who are, are sharing this website decide they're going to vote for Most of them on Twitter might be voting for the first time. Actually, you mentioned Twitter. I've got a, got a yeah. blog here. It's, um, if we can get that up on the screen while we're talking, it's on the, it's on the laptop here. Uh, it's a Times blog, uh, mm. Times Online reporting how the post has sparked a Twitter battle between Labour campaigners <laughs> explaining why they've noted, never voted Tory and Conservative voters say they want why they'd never voted Labour. I guess it's sparking a debate, if nothing else. Absolutely, which can only, it can only be a positive thing. But um, I think it's very easy to get it carried away with Twitter and think, you know, you know, election can be fought and won online. I don't think it can. It's only one com component of, of the general election campaign. And, uh, you know, it's all, it's all good fun to, you know, pass these posters around, have a good laugh at them and, and, you know, have this battle online. But at the end of the day, we shouldn't forget that t the number of people on Twitter in this country is tiny compared to the number of people voting. It's not really going to change anything in the long run. Clifford, I suppose in their defence, though, you could say at least these posters, and we can show them again, at least these posters are getting into policy, which Conservatives have been criticised on not having any, any policies, and it's all been about David Cameron. Are they going to be more difficult a spoof, do you think, online? I wouldn't. I, I do think that they're better posters than the previous ones, but almost anything would be better than the previous ones. Both <laughs> the initial one and, and the tombstone one were pretty awful, I thought. So they are better. They're, they're certainly spoofable. I mean, they have this big, big area of blue waiting to be written on. And uh, one, one of the first. One of the, Just asking for it, really, isn't it? <laughs> one of the first responses was, was um, from, from someone commenting on, on, on the Conservative Home website. He said it looks like, you know, one of those DFS sofa ads. So um, there's something still quite artificial and posed about it, even if they are real people. And as for our one about George Osborne, I think, you know, 
uh, the, the, the Tories have chosen to take economics as one of the issues, one of the three issues that, that they're, they're pushing on these posters. And I do think there's a weak link there. A lot of people are worried about Osborne's performance, and a lot of people are worried about cutting the deficit. Is, okay, final it. question to you, Harry. Yes, uh, shouldn't it be more about policy than posters? Haven't they Absolutely. got these posters out too I early? I mean, there, there are two types of campaigning. There's, there's you know, kind of proactive campaigning that the Conservatives are doing. They're launching these campaigns. They're setting the agenda. And if all the left can do is retaliate with a bit of photoshopping, then, you know, I'm not too worried. If the left want to spend their time online sp spreading around posters rather than, you know, going out and talking to voters, that's, that's fine by me. Okay. <laughs> that's absolutely fine by me. Well, thank you very much for the Harry Cole, Clifford Singer. <laughs> the you. debate will continue thank and the you. posters, the spoofing will continue. We'll check your <laughs> website as well. Okay, next right. is stories you're searching.